Can you say good evening, Zoe? No? Of course not, you're a cat. Hopefully this is enough bribery for the internet to not kill me. So. Ow! Ah! Clawed in the stomach. I really need to trim his hind claws. <sighs> Breathe. Okay, I was looking into Vita ideas for things to talk about, and one of the sites that I used for Vita ideas had suggested to talk about a controversial opinion that you hold on something. Something that other people wouldn't. Well, I have a lot of those, but all of them tend to fall under the same three categories. It's the things that you don't talk about with family, also known as the things that you don't talk about on the internet, namely politics, religion, and sex. I hold... What I think to some people would be controversial views on all three, then I started thinking about things. Why don't I talk about them? I always like to hold those ideas close to myself to worry about offending my friends and... Well, let's be honest, most of my friends already generally know some of my opinions on some of the things. My friends aren't going to hate me because of my opinions. I have opinions, actually my friends probably share quite a few of the opinions, although not all of them. Obviously, every person is different, and, well, every person has their own opinions about pretty much anything, but, well, it's probably good to talk about them from time to time, not in an aggressive, my opinions are better than yours manner, but more in a conversational, well, this is my viewpoint on things, so. I'm going to start off with the easy one, politics. That's a phrase I never thought I'd say. Hi, I'm Spoon, or Shivers, or the Libyest Lib who ever lived, if you ask certain people on the internet. So it's not really a big surprise that I am left-wing. Specifically, I am a left libertarian. Left libertarianism, or at least according to Wikipedia, the, you know, most intelligent source of everything ever, are basically several related but distinct approaches to politics, society, culture, and political and social theory which stress both individual freedom and social justice. In short, I'm a left-wing person who doesn't necessarily agree with the government on many things, and not just things that are related to the left-wing or the right-wing form of politics, but things that, say, for instance, both the left and right tend to agree on in the United States. For instance, I believe the TSA was a horrible abomination, actually. I think a lot of people think that the TSA is a horrible abomination, but I think that we should have nowhere near as much surveillance going on from the government. I believe we should be greatly reducing our military spending not just for bringing everybody home, but also reducing the actual military presence inside the United States. I do believe in the idea that a person should generally have the right to do what they want until they infringe upon the right of another person. It's a generally libertarian ideal. In my case, though, I think that a person should have the right to eat, or the right to not starve, I should say. I believe a person should have a right to education. I believe a person should have a right to health. As a result of those rights that I believe people have, they're not necessarily inalienable rights, but they're rights. I believe in universal health care. I believe in a very strong public education system, as I've mentioned in a previous video. I'll link right there. I believe in the fact that you should not have to work in order to eat. You may not have the greatest food in the world, but you should be able to survive without having to work. You should be able to, say for instance, have a roof over your head without having to work. Which means I do support a strong welfare state. I know welfare has kind of gotten a bad rap in the United States, but the rest of the world still uses welfare as in taking care of the well-being of your society, and I agree with that. And yes, that does mean that I agree with the idea that we need to raise our taxes. Here's where the left wing, anyway, here's where the left wing starts getting stronger. I believe that the tax burden upon the rich of the United States is way too low in comparison to the tax burden of, say, the middle class or the lower classes. And yes, I am middle class, and in my ideal society, I would probably be paying more income tax. In fact, I would probably be paying a lot more income tax and no sales tax, because sales tax are regressive taxes. If you want to ask me about any of the things that I'm saying, please just ask. I'm generally open about these things. This is the video that I tend to talk about things that aren't very surprising to most people. The next video will start getting a little surprising, and the last video will be surprising to almost everybody. Apparently Zone wants to try to orbit me again.
This was cut out of the last video because it's not very easy to talk while I do this. I swear I haven't trained him to do this or anything. So, what does it mean to be left-wing in the United States? And by left-wing, I mean truly left-wing, not just what politicians and the news media and things like that label as left-wing. Well, it means being alienated by pretty much all forms of politics whatsoever. I mean, seriously, until you get to the local level of politics, there is an extremely tiny percentage of people that I agree with more often than I disagree. When it comes to politics, I have absolutely no prayer of being elected to any public office outside of local office, for the same reasons that there's a very small percentage of people I even agree with. Namely, my politics are considered radical and decisive, even though I believe that I have the same general political opinions as a lot of other people in the United States, and a lot of people outside of the United States even. I mean, go to most countries, you'll find that a normal person generally likes the idea of having health care provided for everybody. It means that people call, you know, the President of the United States, for instance, Libyus Lib whoever lived. I love that phrase. Apologize for repeatedly using it. And, um, I hate to tell you this, people that are generally right-wing, Barack Obama's right-wing, not left-wing. Yes, there's some policies of his that are generally toward the left. The idea of making health care a little more public is definitely more left-wing than right-wing. Although, the actual implementation of it, known as Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act, is definitely right-wing rather than left-wing, hence the Republicans were the ones that wrote it. It means that if I start getting very heavy into politics, I have people that turn around to my face and tell me to leave the country. I'm not joking, I've had this happen multiple times to me. Even when I'm, you know, saying very simple things like, I don't believe felons should have their food stamps taken away from them. No one should ever have to deal with hunger. That just blows the minds of some people, and I don't understand why. That seems like common human decency. Yes, they are a felon, but you know what? Some states have some really stupid laws that are felonies. I mean, for instance, in the United States, some states in the United States, possessing marijuana, possessing, not selling, not dealing, possessing is a felony. I mean... Possessing crack is a felony in a good chunk of the United States. Yet possessing cocaine isn't in the, a lot of the same states. That's a racial thing, but that's neither here nor there. I'm not talking about racism on this particular video, although it tends to come up with politics for some strange reason. It means that I see a lot of people that assume that I am an evil traitor to the United States. I've also had that one told to me in my face. It means that I have been a victim of voter discrimination and voter fraud. Which, yes, I have been. Nothing like magically all of my absentee ballots disappearing in the mail, even though I got all of the absentee ballots for my primary election to the same address. They apparently didn't have my name on the voter registration whatsoever, except it was for the primaries for multiple years. Yeah, not happy about that. I generally believe in the welfare of our populace. And our populace, yes, that does in fact include immigrants to the United States. That does in fact include felons. That does in fact include you and me and everybody watching this that lives in the U.S. I generally support the welfare of the entire world for that matter. I generally don't believe in the military being in most of the world. I understand a lot of it's for logistical reasons, the idea that you want a force nearby where any potential enemies may strike so you can strike back. I'm a pacifist, personally. I do not believe in violence. I, I play violent video games and I'm a pacifist. It's kind of strange, but, well, video games aren't reality. If you have any questions about my politics, feel free to ask. Um, I'm generally open about my political viewpoints on things. I hold a lot of them that are controversial, like the idea that if there are people that are homeless and it's not their own decision to be homeless, we have failed as a society. If there are people that die of starvation, we have failed as a society. But uh, I don't care if they cross the border from Mexico and enter the country illegally. If they're starving, we should feed them. I mean, starvation's terrible. Why would you subject somebody to that? That makes me horribly idealistic than Soviet. Good night, Internet. I will see you tomorrow, where I talk about religion. Oh, if I drank alcohol, I would probably need a lot of liquid courage for this one.